Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio again from the Random Stuff channel and uh, I wanted to make this uh, unexpected video straight after my previous one um, just to say that I am going to re-lock the bootloader on my OnePlus 6T. There's quite a few um, uh, videos on how to do it on different versions. I'm not going to video the, the process, but I'm going to include the link that I'm going to follow from the XDA forum. Basically, it involves uh, several steps, uh, several different methods to, to do this. Uh, for me, personally, um, I'm going to use the local update method, but there is the fastboot method or the twerp method, which I could do any of them. But I'm going to go with the recommended one, which is the local update. The link uh, will be included in the description below in case you do want to relock the bootloader on the OnePlus 6T. Um, and um, the reason uh, I'm doing this is because I'm having some issues uh, since uh, I've rooted with uh, Google Pay. It used to work absolutely fine. If I show you the Magis uh, Manager that I've got here, it's installed. Advanced settings looks fine. Um, if I check the safety net status, it all looks good. But whenever I go and add one of my cards, all my cards don't work in there now. Here's a screenshot. Well, it's, this is the screen. Uh, couldn't finish setup up today. Uh, the phone uh, can't be used to pay in shops. This may be because it's rooted or altered in some other way. I tried the workaround of adding the um, JSON file in the in the Magisk uh, module. Let me just quickly show you. Uh, there is a, um, a solution that somebody mentioned, which I tried and didn't work for me. Basically, you go to the update channel, and um, stable is the one that it should be on. This is the one that uh, which doesn't work. Beta doesn't work neither. But if you choose the custom one, if you put this uh, custom URL, apparently some people said that it would fix it. Um, now, I don't know, maybe I've got a typo in there, I don't know, but that's, it's, it's putting me off. The The reason why I rooted, as I mentioned in my previous video, was because of the call recording uh, functionality. That is something that um, I really um, miss not having. ACR Pro uh, used to be brilliant on uh, Android Oreo and before. Now, the APIs are no longer available, and apparently they're making this unchained version, um, which is going to be available on the Huawei store or, or, or another alternative store. Uh, the maybe the um, was it the My UI one as well. Um, but basically, um, I'll give that a go. And uh, if I need to record a call, I'm going to have to put loudspeaker and uh, and do it that way. At the moment, the sh the small trade-offs that um, I mentioned in the previous video are. The, the fact that um, in the apps, for example, the Halifax Bank um, doesn't work, some other banking apps don't work, um, strange behaviors with certain apps that don't, don't let you use the fingerprint, like in Revolut, if you're going to Revolut, it doesn't allow me to add the security setting of using the fingerprint. So there's a few things, and all in all, I've just decided, um, that's it, I'm not gonna put up with this, I, I need the phone to be able to do Google Pay, and Magisk was actually allowing this to happen. Um, as you can see, I've got also my favorite titanium backup in there, which is great. Uh, but unfortunately, um, it's uh, lasted uh, not too long, this uh, rooted uh, version of the OnePlus 6T. I'll go back to rooted if there is a solution for Google Pay. Um, and um, yeah, if I can't get the recording to work on the um, unchained uh, version of ACR. So. Um, the next video that you will see is the, the video of this same device after I've unlocked the bootloader. The process that I'm going to do is basically follow the, the one from the XDA forum, uh, which is the local update method. After I do that, um, I'm going to proceed to try and recover one of my backups that I made before so that I've got most of my things the way they were and then I just have to do some updates. So fingers crossed everything will be fine and I will report in just a second okay so back in with um, the update uh, so it's the next day now and um, it took me a while to get everything back to the way it was uh, including all the apps which some of them were not behaving correctly so I had to reinstall them now I have gone back to 9.0.12 stock oxygen and I have the um, unrooted uh, version now. Everything is working perfectly. The 
Google Play is working perfect. My Tesco Plus, uh, Halifax, uh, Revolut uh, now has the fingerprint option in the in the settings. Everything is working as it should perfectly. Unfortunately, I don't have call recording uh, functionality, but if I use the loudspeaker, it will work, and I will keep my eyes out on the um, unchained version of ACR on on one of the alternative uh, markets. We'll see what happens. So um, I did have some issues with um, doing this because the the process that I followed on the XDA forum, um, which is just the you know the the normal um, what do they call it? One second. Um, local update update method or local upgrade method and uh, with this method you can basically flash uh, a new a newer version oops that's still recording you can flash a new version um, so I downloaded uh, I did everything this that was in in that post you can see it in the uh, link below but the problem was that um, I, I ended up with um, with with an unrooted device, but the bootloader was still unlocked, so I kept getting that that horrible message at the beginning. So the the way to to um, relock the bootloader uh, wasn't as easy to find, unfortunately, on on the various forums. I've posted some links below. The one that I followed uh, basically suggested that uh, I use um, um, the ADB that I had installed originally uh, on my on my C drive. And uh, using PowerShell uh, in admin mode or the command prompt in, ad in admin, basically you you connect the device uh, to your computer. It has to be a Windows machine, and you must be in um, in in the uh, you know the uh, the start uh, unlock or lock of the bootloader. And the command is very similar to what we would have done originally when we made the phone a rooted phone. Uh, and unlocking the bootloader in order to do that. Um, only that now the simple command that I had to do on my uh, on my uh, OnePlus 60 was to type, um, uh, what was it? Uh, let me just uh, read it out to you. Yeah, it was just um, fast boot space OEM space lock. Did that. Uh, then I had the new screen that I had to select the, you know, am I sure? I said yes, and, uh, and that's it. So fast boot, OEM lock. Um, that's all I had to do in ADB, and everything is working perfectly. Phone is uh, as it was originally. No one would ever know it's being rooted and unrooted and uh, again. So I hope this has helped. I'll put all the links in the description below. Um, apparently, it's very easy to... Uh, to um, to get all these files from XDA, uh, but anyway, I'll put them in the links uh, if you if you need them. And uh, good luck with it if you're doing the same process as me, which is to relock the um, the bootloader on the A6013 device. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until the next one, take care. Cheers. Bye.